Hi and welcome. My name is Kyle Wiener. On behalf of Ashworth College and the Madison School of Healthcare, thanks to our viewers for joining us today. In this third video of our employer Q&A series, we will be discussing nursing and healthcare career advancement with our friends from Dabney S. Lancaster Community College in Virginia. With me today is Ben Worth, Vice President of Academic Affairs. Ben, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me here, Kyle. Excited to talk to you today. Great, and also joining us is Tina Hawley, Program Head for Nursing. Great to have you with us, Tina. Thank you for allowing me to be here. Of course, thank you both. Um, let's start. So Ben, knowing that healthcare is a growing sector in our economy, mm -hmm. how can young professionals find their calling while building a viable career path in healthcare? Well, the first thing I would say is for students in any nursing program is to fully participate in their classes uh, and in their clinical experiences you give the opportunity to gain lots of uh, real world uh, experience by doing that. I, I also want students to look at some of the different pathways that are available to them. The students who may start with a nurse aid program uh, have pathways into practical nursing programs, uh, two year degrees, pathways from there into associate degree nursing programs. And uh, these all allow students the opportunity to take the skills that they've developed and uh, expand them further with uh, more education and more training opportunities. Absolutely. And Tina, um, how can nurses advance and accelerate their careers by going back to school? Um, well, I would advise anyone uh, in the field today to at least consider at minimum a bachelor's degree. Um, many of the nursing uh, options, nursing settings require a minimum of a bachelor's degree uh, today to do some of those functions. And so then, Ben, what does having an advanced degree do for a nurse's professional standing and that hireability factor? Well, simply put, the more advanced degree a nurse holds, the more job opportunities they have and the more money they will earn in those careers. The reality today is that more and more hospitals are requiring a bachelor's degree, if not initially, then after three to four years of employment. So that opportunity to have a pathway from an associate degree nursing program to a bachelor's degree nursing program is extremely important for those ADN graduates. And Ben, what are you seeing in recent years that excites you about the outlook of the nursing position and healthcare field at large? Well, there's just been a huge increase in job opportunities in healthcare broadly. Uh, that's a, a reality that many people watching this already know. And those opportunities, certainly they're showing up in hospital settings, but they're showing up in other kinds of settings as well. That's uh, home care, community settings, places like doctor's clinics, health departments, various pediatric services. So we're seeing lots of job openings in the healthcare sector and in a variety of different types of job locations. Uh, and the reality is that many of these positions require bachelor's degrees. And Tina, how about your perspective on new trends or momentum going forward? Um, yes, I would agree with Dr. Wirth. Um, we're seeing that there's still a need for nurses in the acute care settings in the hospital type settings, but we're seeing more of a need in those community home health, pediatric clinics, those types of settings. And those will probably increase is what they're telling us over the next 20 years. Tina, I'd like to get your thoughts on a couple lightning round questions to end our conversation. Um, so I'll ask those one at a time. Okay. What are three traits or skills that you value most in nursing or healthcare professionals? Um, nursing advances just like medicine very quickly. Um, so we have to have people who will have a commitment to lifelong learning. And I think that's um, very important for anybody coming into healthcare or currently in healthcare. Um, flexibility to be able to um, get those additional credits, certifications, degrees um, that they need as they um, move forward with their career. And anyone coming into nursing and also looking to advance needs a very strong background in the sciences and math. And next, how important is mentorship to finding long-term success in nursing? 
Mentorship is important. It's important at the student level um, with faculty mentors and sometimes we use student mentors um, for um, older students, for more newer enrollees. Um, as they go to work, they'll get, uh, they'll have faculty, or sorry, staff mentors um, on their jobs. So mentorship is very important uh, to helping nurses succeed and make transitions from classroom to um, their jobs. Well, thank you, Ben and Tina, for sharing your insights and perspective with us. Thank you to our viewers for joining us. And please make sure to visit the Madison School of Healthcare website for complete healthcare education and career resources. Take care and thank you again, guys. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you.